Well, a different story here. This is happening today. A showdown of local teams in the high school football playoffs. Yeah, this one's going to get exciting. Thompson hosting Hewitt Trustville, the winner reaching the state semifinals. Yeah, CBS 42 News reporter Connie Gasky live in Alabaster this morning. And Connie, this game features a matchup of some star quarterbacks. These guys are good. Yeah, no doubt about it. It's two future Crimson Tide quarterbacks. So one day in the future, they'll be competing for a starting job. But tonight, they're both competing to stay alive in the Class 7A playoffs. And this is a rematch from the regular season. They faced off just three weeks ago. Thompson won that game. So Talia Tungavailoa hopes to lead the Warriors to victory again. But Paul Tyson and the Huskies hope to get revenge. The winner locks up a spot in the state semifinals. Our sports team caught up with both quarterbacks this week about this rematch. It gave me a lot of confidence, especially with my running and stuff. Um, I know against an athletic team like that, you got to beat them with your legs and, and through the air. So you know, I'm ready for it. I, I know our team's ready. I mean, that's that's really something something big that uh, we cherish, just to be able to in this, be in this region and be in this competitive league that we're in. And uh, I mean, everyone knows that this is a real competitive league, and so we just got to come out here and play our best game every week because you never know what can happen. And you heard Tyson talking about this region. Here's how you know how good a region it is. The winner of this game is guaranteed to face another team from the same region, either Mountain Brook or Hoover. Both those teams face off tonight at the Hoover Met. So we know we're going to have a big uh, matchup here tonight, a big crowd on hand for this uh, quarterfinal matchup here at Thompson High School. Going to be a big crowd, and that, of course, means the potential for big traffic. I caught up with a school administrator to talk about how they're going to handle that traffic and how they're going to try to manage that before the game tonight. You'll hear what he has to say about that coming up in the next half hour. Guys, back to you.